Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? I'm Jason Heine from the Emulator Review, hanging out with you today, coming at you with a review on a classic game from Rare. Now, when I was younger, I used to play games like Battletoads, RC Pro-Am, all those sort of games. You know, I was finding myself gravitating towards, you know, that kind of art style, that type of game. It was very unique, and it was just so much fun. At the time, I really couldn't put my thumb on why. I was young, and I just enjoyed playing it. But as I got a little older, and I started researching these games, I realized that these games were developed by Rare. And that's really what makes them so great. Rare is a fantastic development powerhouse. Uh, making some of my personal favorite games across many, many platforms. So at the time when this game came out in 1989, I loved it. And looking back on it now, all the pieces of the puzzle were there. It's made by Rare, it's a boat racing game, kind of in the same vein of kind of RC little car racer type thing. So I fell in love with it. This is Cobra Triangle, developed by Rare and released in 1989, just one year after my beloved RC Pro-Am. There are definite similarities to RC Prime, of course, being only one year apart, they were kind of riding on the coattails and the success of that game. So the camera angle is very similar. It's kind of, you know, above third person, kind of in a helicopter, you know, I don't really know how to describe that, but you know, it's just above the vehicle and backside kind of at an angle. It's a very cool perspective. I do enjoy it. And what's nice about it is it also uses a power up system similar to Gradius, you know, to where you, you, uh, you get these power ups and then you press the select button depending on which one you want to power up. So you can do, you know, your missiles, upgrade those, you can upgrade your speed, which I highly recommend, um, and, and a few others there. So those will help you progress through the game and, and defeat you know the bosses, and you have different games that you have to play and missions that you have to overcome in order to progress. Um, you know, there's of course boss fights, there's you know typical like bonus rounds where you have to jump these jumps and get different power-ups, which is nice. Another one is where you have to uh, rescue or I guess guard these swimming people. I mean, very crazy concept. It, it, I don't know why you you would have all these swimming people in the middle of a I'm looking too much into it. It's just a game, of course, but it's quite funny when you look at it in today's world. But the boat is able to shoot bullets, which that, that makes it interesting, too. It's not really just a racing game. You can actually fire on and destroy other boats, which is really nice. I believe there's about 20 to 25 some odd levels, somewhere in that range. Uh, I honestly haven't gotten up that far. Uh, I've heard of some people doing it, but man, is this game difficult. You know, these games back then, that's what they were. They were difficult, and, and it makes it so much fun. Another really interesting interesting thing about the game is that you know how in most games where you get hit you instantly die uh, or you take only a couple hits and, and you're dead and here they've incorporated like a uh, power bar an energy life bar if you will so that you can take multiple hits and it will just uh, take away your life there and then once it reaches the bottom of course you're dead really neat concept and, and not really seen all that much in, in racing games like this nice to see so I would highly recommend this game. It's one of my favorites on the console. It's, it's a great game, has a lot of replay value. There's a lot to it, you know, with the missions. I mean, race against the clock, you got obstacles, um, you know, racing other boats, protecting people. There's a level where you take mines, transfer them from one area to another, and you have to fight boats. They're attacking you to try to take the mines. And, you know, there's target levels where you have to shoot targets, jump waterfalls, avoid logs. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in the game and it just looks fantastic. Of course, being from our good friends at Rare, I thoroughly enjoy it, and I'm sure you guys will too. So this is Cobra Triangle from our good friends at Rare. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I'm Jason Heine. You guys have a fantastic day. Peace.